Well, happy midweek Wednesday. Um, a beautiful day in the neighborhood, is it not? Much to thank God for um, with these blue skies and this um, fall-like temperature. I will come to you with a couple of things as an update. One, how good it was for those who felt they could um, to come back to on-site worship on Sunday. We had 81 people who gathered in the sanctuary for the one service at 10 o'clock. Many others of you, it's not yet time and you do not yet feel safe and all of that is completely understandable. Everybody needs to do what is safe and best and right for them. That's why we'll continue to have live stream at 10 and then we'll have a service that is, um, you know, sort of on demand at 11.30 on anytime you want to tune in and stay connected with your faith family. All of us are in this together, whether we are in this building or connected via technology. This is our faith family. This is our spiritual home. We are brothers and sisters. And for all the ways that we are trying to link up with one another, I'm grateful. So grateful. Um, when our service ended here on Sunday uh, at 12 o'clock, there was the first pot of our youth who gathered. There were about eight folks in the um, in the back parking lot and they made their way all around um, for about two hours and then there were other senior highs who gathered that night six to eight um, tomorrow there's going to be a blitz all around charleston where some of our seniors who whose world has gotten very small with this um, global pandemic um, we're just going to make doorstop visits with a bag of you know, homemade things to just drop off sandwiches, lunch, um, treats. So I, I think there are about 52 people that we're gonna kind of blitz with love tomorrow. But we're family, this is what we do. This is how we stay connected, with worship with one another um, in care and, and in support. And it's, it's more crucial now than ever before. Arriving in your mailbox this week, maybe even today is the um, gratitude card for this year. There's no need for us to do anything more than this as the time comes for us to plan the budget for next year. It's been an unusual year. Um, certainly without our uh, sanctuary open for six months, then our, our giving certainly has been down, but so has our spending. And so we're living within our means. But we're asked by our church every year in the fall, we'll have a charge conference, and we're supposed to submit our budget for 2021. Now the only way we can do that is with your help. Uh, so we've tried to make it as easy as possible. This little card that you simply drop back in the mail uh, gives two options um, in recognition and gratitude for all God's good gifts. One, I want to continue my same gift or higher in 2021. Um, I want to change my gift to whatever in 2021. So two check marks and your signature, just as a way of helping us know how to plan so that we can be responsible in, um, in the work that, uh, that we do in mission and ministry here at Bethel Church that reaches this city um, and is far reaching even around the globe. So I commend this to you. It will help us greatly if you just, when you get in the mail, check one of those two boxes, make the corresponding adjustment if you need to, um, sign your name, drop it right back in the mail. If we can have a turnaround in one week, wow, that would be so helpful um, for folks who are working on um, finance committee and um, the church council who will be working on setting our budget uh, before October 20th. So thank you for your help with that. Um, we are living in um, this um, cacophony of um, sounds, right? Um, to listen to the debate last night, there was this cacophony of sounds. To listen to the conversation in our streets, there's a cacophony of sounds. Um, to listen to, to medical wisdom and um, possibilities for vaccines, there's a cacophony of sounds. Um, we, we live with a lot going on in our um, culture and in our city and in our own minds and hearts. But here's what I want to share with you today. Uh, there's a quote from C.S. Lewis 
uh, that says that God um, whispers to us in our pleasures, um, speaks to us in our conscience, and shouts to us in our pain. Whispers in our pleasures, speaks in our conscience, shouts to us in our pain. What does that mean, really? I think of a story that I heard um, that maybe captures this. Um, um, a friend was talking to his brother and found himself just feeling overwhelmed. Um, a sense of just gray, you know, just a sense of where is the beauty? Um, everything seems kind of gray. Those of you who walk through um, any sort of depression, be it ongoing or short term, know about gray. But he was sitting at the table talking to his brother. His brother um, is a geologist and a kind of quiet, um, thoughtful, smart guy um, listened um, to his brother unpack his heart and then offered sort of a quiet observation. He says, you know, in the work I do, I'm outside a lot. Um, there are occasions when I have to go up on um, steep inclines, mountains, mountain ranges to do the work of my calling as a geologist and um, the vista from the mountaintop is is beautiful breathtaking especially when the altitude is such that you're up high above the tree line when what exists are rocks um, and more ragged terrain up at the top and you can look down and see where the altitude changes so that the tree line trees can habitate and form and grow be sustained he said, but if you let your eye look over all that your eye can see, the place where it is most green and most lush are in the valleys. In the valleys, there's water. God speaks to us, um, whispers in our pleasures, speaks in our conscience, shouts in our pain. Perhaps there is no better place that we could, hear, could or can hear God more clearly, more distinctly um, than in the valleys. So I would say um, as a community of faith, um, let's listen for God. Um, there is lushness, there's green habitation, there's um, a, a reservoir of water in the valley. Um, let's remind one another of that. Let's listen for the prompting of God. And let's stay close to one another. We are family together. And as family, we'll be a witness to the world. Take care. Hope to see you on Sunday.